Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button as well, as it does really help me out a lot. So it's been a long time since I've spoken one-to-one -one with the camera. A um, few weeks for me, probably a couple on your side. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I would uh, do today's video based around a Q&A. <laughs> And that's totally not because I didn't run out of ideas or anything. Um, it, well, so we'll jump straight into today's q and I put on my Instagram story and Facebook for friends and family or anyone who just enjoys watching my vlogs to ask me anything. And with the amazing responses that I had, I thought I could turn this into a video. So we'll jump straight off the bat. At Jaden Tiger Moss asked, dream show lineup. So I'm guessing he's talking about gigs and stuff. So my dream show lineup would be one of my favorite DJs, uh, Skrillex headlining. And I think opening, it would be cool to see. It would be cool to see open for Skrill. Realistically, I want to make this as realistic as possible. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is where it starts to get tricky. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, thank you. I don't know if you heard that, but Moody Good, uh, one of the producers, he's been killing it for so fucking long. Um, but he's, he's his design, ah, oh, it's incredible. Who else have I been loving? I'd love to see, I know this would never happen, but I'd love to see Virtual Riot barely alive and Phase One all do like an opening for that, just a triple back to back. I mean, that'd probably be bigger. And then also as well, Slap Zomboy in it. So yeah, we've got all of them. <laughs> wow, bloody hell. That'd be, that'd be massive. All right, my next question. At in Felton, who is the biggest hype beast in all the land? Well, that'd be you, sir. At Angelo.Chara asked, will you ever do a vlog doing Emily's makeup? Would be jokes to follow up on the last one. We have actually spoken about that and I think that is going to happen. It's just when we have the time to do it. So it, it's in the works. It's definitely in the works and it is going to happen. We, we've spoken about it and I'm probably gonna end up ruining her face. <laughs> oh, that's that. I don't want that to be taken out of context. Oh, a follow-up question from that, at Angelo.Chara asks again, also, when are we going to do our football vlog? We'll do one, we'll do one. I'd say when, when the weather gets nicer, around June or July time. I'll be, blimey, June, July time, I'll be looking to a year I've been doing this. At Isaac J. Parsons, can dog eat watermelon? Yeah. <laughs> um, Nathan underscore Webb asked, favorite artist and why once again skrillex he's basically been my inspiration for majority of my music loving life um for, without him i mean i think i'd be a completely different person who i am today um i i owe a lot to that guy and i've only seen him live once and it wasn't even a solo skrillex show so he needs to come back to the uk then i'd be very 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 happy at this isn't crew cast asks cats or dogs well um i think we'd know who shane dawson would pick there's another question what spice do you get from nando's uh i am a medium guy and i always have been and i probably always will be actually no i want to talk about that i think nando's have changed their menu and they have made medium a lot less spicier uh, I would say a conspiracy theory should be in place for that because I think it's 100% true. It, it's really weird. All the chicken flavour tastes a lot different now and I've noticed their menus changed and everything's got a bit more expensive. So um, I might have to start looking into getting hot now, but uh, for the time being, still still medium. At It's Jono UK asked, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Oh, another question for at Nathan underscore Webb asks, what do we think of Tottenham? Well, shit. At Alex Pulley 98 asks, what's your ultimate goal on YouTube? To be honest, my goal is to build up a large audience, which I can entertain. I mean, I've been doing this now since uh, June or July. I can't remember when I uploaded the video. I will put that first one there. I want to 
go further though with it. I'm trying so many different styles of video and I am going to keep experimenting of course and I just really want to grow my channel and a community with this channel. That's, that's my goal. That is my big goal. At Cara Murphy asked, what is your favourite possession? Um, now I could actually just say my MacBook Pro, mainly because it's pretty much without that I wouldn't be able to do anything really. It's it's everything. I bring it everywhere with me. Uh, I'm always doing my work on it. I'd say that's one of my favourite, and it's one of my most expensive possessions as well. So there's my MacBook Pro. Um, but prize possession. Yeah, my MacBook Pro is my favourite possession because I bring it with me wherever I go. Uh, without that, I wouldn't have been able to start my photography and my YouTube. And yeah, it's kind of my... Uh, uh, it's, it's my baby. My, my MacBook Pro is my baby. At Isaac J. Parsons asks, I think my dad has a crush on my mum. <laughs> God's sake. At Sesh Prince of Bel Air asked, Favourite photo you've taken of a DJ live? It is this photo. Because that was my first actual DJ gig. I remember taking that photo and looking back over it. That was the one that really caught my eye. And if you're wondering who it is, it's uh, Keizo. And I spoke more about that in that Keizo video I did. I'll put a link there. At Dylan Francis is my dad asked, What's the best album slash EP ever made in your opinion? That I will always stick with Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites by Skrillex. That EP achieved so much at such a pinnacle point in time, especially with electronic dance music. It really, really changed the game. And personally, you, you could possibly disagree with me, but without that EP, I think uh, electronic music would be very, very different. At Guara, oh, I love this guy, but I always forget how to pronounce his name. Gorov. X Omega asked, what's your favourite YouTuber? Um, I have a couple of favourite YouTubers. Also spoken about it in my YouTuber inspiration video. One of them being Pyrocynical. Uh, just love his videos, love his comedy, his humour, just pure satire. Another one is Casey Neistat, mainly for his vlogs. Kind of my inspiration for doing vlogging videos. So Pyrocynical and Casey Neistat. At Sophie Shaw asked, thinking back to when you were younger, have you achieved what you thought you would have at that age? I think so. I think at a young age, I really set myself some really, really high ambitions and without really thinking about it. But personally, I feel I've done that. I feel like I've reached these ambitions. Well, the main one being moving out and <laughs> I remember when I was young, I thought I'd be able to move out at like 16 or 17. And yeah, I was so wrong, especially with prices in London. <laughs> it's crazy how much like I've been able to do and how many opportunities I've been given uh, in my life. Um, I never thought I'd be able to be in my own flat at 20. Um, I never thought I'd be able to actually start a YouTube channel i never thought i would be taking photos for djs that i've looked up to i never thought i'd be traveling the world to go to different gigs with some of my best friends so personally i feel like i've really really like i don't know i'm happy i never thought i'd be able to do all this and i'm really happy i have been able to Anyway, I'll probably wrap it up on that one. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be, especially once I've cut down the edits. Uh, I also want to say thank you to all the people that sent in the questions. I'll probably do another one of these in the future, so make sure you're following my Instagram um, so you can look out for when I'll do another one of these. Uh, if you enjoyed it, once again, make sure you hit that like button down below. Yeah, I'm going to finish there. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one.